What is the best beginner camera for a child? Our top seven list of kid-friendly camera options coming up. Shall we? We shall. Look, if you yourself own a DSLR, you likely sparked your child's interest in photography. If that's true, then it's time to think about cool photography gifts for kids. In this video, I've prepared the top seven list of best cameras for children right now, most of which are okay for 10-year-olds and 5-year-olds too. Now, something tells me that they will be ecstatic about having their own photography gear. But before we move on to actual kid-friendly camera options, let's quickly talk about choosing the right kid-friendly camera. It's actually quite really simple. Just think of the following four things when making a purchase. 1. Durability 2. Ease of use 3. Fun design and 4. A low price tag The good news is that children don't really need a lot of complicated settings. Instead, what they do need is a straightforward product that is also able to withstand the series of bumps and hits should that happen. So ideally, you want to get products that are durable, but more importantly, fun to use to keep sparking that creativity and desire to do more photography. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the first product on the list. The Play School Showcam, a 2-in-1 projector and digital camera for preschoolers. Children love to imitate what they see in adults, so if you love photography, there's a really big chance you won't share your expensive gear to play with. In that case, you can give them a gadget to satisfy your child's curiosity and for them to better appreciate your craft like the Play School Showcam 2-in-1 digital camera and projector. It is an amazing find which you can consider giving to your toddler this year. It looks and feels like a real quote-unquote pro camera, plus the bright colors that kids totally love. It also comes with straps, colorful and easy-to-use buttons, and many more accessories that make it look like the real thing. Plus, the body size itself is just right for a child's hand, so ergonomically speaking, it's great for children aged 3 to 6 years old. They can be as creative as they want to be since the product comes with a built-in image editor, and you can put stickers and stamps on their photos to make it more fun than it already is. Play School Showcam does not only end in being a real gear for preschoolers, but it also turns itself into a cool projector. With this feature, your kids can enjoy viewing and showing off their snaps with the entire family. You can show your support to your budding little photographer by gathering in the living room to witness their showcase of images through this built-in projector. It's pretty neat. Here's a quick overview of the reasons to buy. It's a two-on-one product and can turn into a projector. Storage for up to 1,000 photos. Comes with a built-in photo editor. Has a grip and build similar to real cameras. Has easy access buttons with simple navigation. It's quite affordable and a great choice for toddlers and preschoolers 1 to 3 years old. And some reasons to avoid. It might be too bulky for a baby. And it does of course have inferior image quality. While it's no longer widely available, be sure to check the description box below for prices and availability across a few online stores I've found just for you. Next, we have the VTech Kitty Zoom. It's the best starter camera for kids 3 to 5 years old. I tag this product as the Kitty Digicam because its functions are just like that of a regular digital camera. The only difference is the funky design and simpler buttons. The reason behind it is of course obvious. Now, VTech Kitty Zoom offers a 2 megapixel and a digital zoom that can zoom in 4x and with an ability to record videos. There is also a built in micro SD card slot to allow for more storage. All in all, it's one of the best ones for kids to use, especially if they're 3 to 6 years old. The features they'll love number one, it's a durable kids' camera and is designed to survive any tumbles and drops. Number two, there is a selfie mode that can automatically detect your kid's face. And number three, it has a photo collage template so your kids can enjoy editing the photos and adding effects. FYI, it is programmed with 35 photo editing effects. And it gets better too. The VTech Kitty Zoom has four games, and this means that your child won't get bored after taking some fun photos because they can also play the games too. And one last thing. Personally, I have a habit of checking the battery life aspect of any digital technology product. And what I like here about the Kitty Zoom is it automatically turns off when it's not in use, which therefore prolongs battery life. Speaking of which, you'll need four AA batteries for this one. All in all, it's a great durable starter camera for three to five year olds. Even if your children are older, that is under 10 years of age, I'm sure they'll love it too. And what you will love is that it costs just around $50. 
So here's a quick overview of the reasons to buy. It's easy to set up and use, and fun to edit the photos with it. It feels like a regular digital camera. It's durable with a selfie mode, along with photo collages and effects, and it automatically turns off when not in use, prolonging the battery life. And some reasons to avoid. It takes low-quality photos. It has no flash. It's not waterproof. Cover plates of the battery compartment also kind of easily come off, and it can be a bit bulky for the little ones. Scroll down and check the description box below for the best deals today. Up next, we have the Our Life Underwater Kids Camera. It's the best underwater action camera for three to seven year olds. Now, this is the one where they can take pictures while underwater. It has a fun design and constructed in a way that'll be easy for your kids to deal with. It's dust proof, it can survive underwater up to three meters, and it costs less than $50. These reasons already should be enough to want the Our Life Action Cam. What else? First of all, this baby is small and lightweight and runs on one lithium metal battery, which seems to last pretty long. The control panel is pretty straightforward with easy to press buttons within, and each button only has a single function. For adventurous children, this cam can potentially be attached to helmets, skateboards, and bikes. It offers an 8 megapixel photo resolution as well as 1080p 30 frames per second video resolution. All in all, it's a cool gift for kids, for toddlers too. I feel this might be the best photography toy for kids for any occasion, especially considering it's under $50. This product is great because it's cheap, it's compact and lightweight. It can be used for underwater shooting for up to two hours. And it's also an easy one for children to use, including three-year-olds. Scene settings are fun to use and it comes with an 8GB SD card. Now as for the reasons to avoid it, it can't be used underwater for more than 2 hours. The included case does add some bulk. Charging the battery is a necessity every night and it isn't easy to review pictures on the camera itself. But you be the judge. As usual, all the links with prices and availability are in the description box below. The Fisher-Price Kid Tough. It's the best durable digital camera for 5-7 to seven year olds. Now this one might be the best digital camera for five-year-olds. The Fisher-Price digital camera, the classic. At one point in time, you might have owned an older version of this product. It is as classic as it can be as it is the go-to option for kid-friendly cameras that runs on four AAA batteries. It has simple features and controls that were made especially for toddlers and kids up to six to seven years old. Needless to say, this one has a shock-proof body, so no amount of dropping and banging around will leave it broken. Like the VTech Kitty Zoom, the Fisher-Price has a digital zoom that can zoom 4x. You can download a lot of special effects and frames, and these effects are not applied after the photos are taken. Instead, they are applied while taking the photos. And unlike the VTech Kitty Zoom, in the Fisher-Price model, the low-light performance is way better and has built-in memory that can house more than 2,000 photos. It has a colored 1.44-inch TFT screen that allows for photo and video playback. Without a doubt, the Fisher-Price Kid Tough might be the best beginner camera for a child. Why I think it's great? It's easy to set up, it's shockproof, you can personalize pictures with effects, controls can be managed easily, and computer connectivity is pretty handy. And some reasons to avoid, it isn't waterproof and it has pretty bad battery life without a flash and can only take decent pictures in bright light. Now, if this is the one that interests you, check out the link below in our description box for exact prices and availability. The LEGO Digital Camera, a unique camera with logo design for seven-year-olds and up. Though it looks like it is made with a bunch of real-life LEGO blocks, it's actually not. While your child can attach their very own LEGO blocks for a customized look, it's a fully functional camera that lets you store 50 to 60 photos in it. As per manufacturer's recommendation, this device is perfect for children aged 7 to 15. But honestly, even kids as young as 3 years old are having fun with it. Thanks to the simple operation of this product, preschoolers can enjoy using it too. This unique gadget comes with an 8 megapixel lens that takes real images and encourages your children to develop their love for art and creativity as well. This body also comes with a flash, but don't expect too much from it. From what I've gathered, it is just too strong that the resulting pictures are almost white. So this isn't really recommended for night use, and if it's not really necessary to use the flash, just leave it off for better image captures. The LEGO digital camera doesn't use disposable batteries. Instead, it can be recharged via a USB cable to your laptop or a travel adapter. 
This makes it so much easier to carry around and it saves you money that's supposedly for the spare power packs. So here are the reasons to buy. It uses rechargeable batteries through a USB cable. It's a real camera and it has a unique design. And some reasons to avoid, not a high level photo quality at 8 megapixels. Flash can be a bit too strong and can store only up to 60 photos. Now, this is not a product you can easily find everywhere. However, I've included a few online stores where you can check it out for availability and prices. The link is in the description box below. Next up is the Nikon W100. It's the best real camera for kids from 7 to 10 years old. If you feel that your kids are old enough and would prefer an adult camera with a children's menu, then I encourage you to check out the Nikon W100. It's also one of my recommendations for family vacations because the W100 is great for the whole family, not just for the kids. Why is that? The design of the control system resembles a pocket game console, and the buttons on the Nikon Coolpix W100 are large and comfortable. It gets better. The children's menu allows your kids to take pictures in a game form with animated characters on the screen, and they can put colorful stamps on already taken photo shots. For little photographers, additional accessories are available, such as a designer backpack and a floating strap. Here's the deal. While this Nikon is ultra-compact, it can withstand a drop from a height of up to 1.8 meters and dive to a depth of 10 meters. It's also capable to handle a cold weather of up to minus 10 degrees Celsius while retaining all its technical capabilities. However, and this is important, when you turn on the W100 on the screen, you will see a quote-unquote waterproofing precautions greeting. Basically, it will guide you through so that water doesn't get into the camera when you're using it underwater or in bad weather conditions. The thing is, the battery compartment requires a two-step unlock process so that you don't accidentally open it underwater or when anything else that might get inside your battery compartment. So, make sure to follow the guidelines closely to avoid any issues while shooting pics under the water. All in all, the Nikon W100 is a child-friendly digital product and is great for 7 to 10 year olds and for family use in general. Your kids, however, will definitely enjoy it. Remember though that it costs less than $200 and you shouldn't expect a top-notch photo quality coming out of this thing. For those of you who often go on family vacations and prefer adrenaline-filled trips, this baby is gorgeous. Now let's recap some of the reasons to buy. It's best for family use and for vacations. It's pretty waterproof, easy to use, and lots of fun features for kids. And some reasons to avoid. You must be careful underwater with it. You gotta follow the instructions closely. The photo quality might not satisfy the adult photographers, and it has pretty short battery life. As usual, go ahead and scroll down below to the description box to find the best deals today. The Polaroid Snap its the best instant camera for 8 to 10 year olds. Now, this one is a unique photo gift for digital aged kids. Just like the Nikon W100, Polaroid is best for your older ones. For 5 year olds or less, it's not the best option for a number of reasons. For the 8 plus year old Polaroid Snap will be a unique gift. I'll be honest, at first I was wondering between Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 and this Polaroid Snap, but then I decided that the latter will better suit your children's needs. It has simple controls, it prints large photos, and is convenient in size. Basically, the Polaroid Snap is a digital camera with a built-in printer. While to you it might be a thing of the past, for your children it will be unlike anything else. This Polaroid was built with simplicity in mind, so it's very easy for kids to use. The good news is that it comes with a built-in lithium-ion battery so you can recharge it with your USB cable. Keep in mind that while the body is made of hard plastic and can withstand minor hits, it's best to use a wrist strap that is included to avoid accidental drops. The Fujifilm Instax versus the Polaroid Snap Now in the video here, Chelsea and her daughter talk about Fujifilm Instax versus the Polaroid Snap, which help you understand which one suits best your child. All in all, the Polaroid Snap acts more like a unique photography gift for kids that they can take to birthday parties, during school recess and lunchtime, or anywhere else. In our digital age, instant printing and pictures that can be seen on actual photo paper can always create the wow effect, don't you think? Anyway, here are the reasons to buy. It has a value price, no AA batteries needed, you can use a memory card with a bunch of filters, and it's a unique kind of photography gift for kids. And some reasons to avoid, the flash doesn't go off, it won't take photos at night, 
and you need a micro SD card to a firmware update. Speaking of which, if you get this product, here are my two tips for buying. The paper comes in packs of 10, so buy a lot of it in advance, specifically Polaroid Zinc. Also, get a 16GB or 32GB micro SD card with it so you can update the firmware. Check out the current prices and availability in the description box below. So, all seven options before here mentioned are great in helping build a child's interest in photography. However, you might have noticed that each of them excel in a specific field or is good for a particular age group. You should decide what's the best camera for your kid to use. And based on this roundup, you have a good point and shoot for family use that has children's menu. You have an instant camera with a wow factor for our digital age kids. You have a good waterproof action cam, another one mimicking a professional digital camera, also a no fuss camera that is built to last, and there's the one with the Lego design for all the Lego fans and a two-in-one creative camera for preschoolers. It really depends on how old your child is and what they might prefer the most. So keep in mind, all of these products cost under $200 or even under $50. You shouldn't expect a high image quality, but what we are looking for here is the experience that your child will have when he or she is using their new photography gear. A pretty great gift if you ask me. Now I'd love to hear from you. How old is your kid and which camera did you like the most here? Have you ever bought any of these in the past? Please do share your thoughts in the comments section below and I'll see you at the next video.